back, back to Belfield. Almost turned it over, got it back, attacks the rim. Misamba, stand back, off the glass. ECU. Green for three. Maybe the new dude will help him with his foul trouble. Tip Turner short on the putback. Belfield. Jasper cutting through the lane. Very nice job by Belfield. Sometimes as a guard on the break, you have to know when to by the rim. Jasper misfires. And the Horned Frogs have numbers. Finish underneath. For it's not just that they have the lead by a point, but they haven't panicked. They've kept the threat of the storm, and they're up by three. Beck turns the corner, kicks it out. Green, straight on look, wide open. That it happens. Hawkins on the floor for UNLV. Marshall, who has the ball now, spins in traffic. Marshall gets the roll. Mark Hawkins with the drive in the bucket. Marshall inside, he's got Tuffy Moss on him. He realizes he's a little bit bigger. Even with Thorns coming to double, he goes over with his arms getting over the top of the block out. Thorns gonna take it himself. Who, by the way, went to the same school. So they, they've known each other. They've shared, they probably shared lunch once in a while. Stand back for three. He started out that way. Fields couldn't hold the pass from Thorns. Marshall on the move. Big finish, stand back. You got to get through screens if you're playing against UNLV. You get against the screen right there at the elbow. Right there, guy doesn't get through. Guess what? Stand back knocks down a jumper. You can't go under the screen, and he went under it. You can't go under a screen. I call those oftentimes what I call good looking bad passes. Yes. He gets there peep 10 times. Moss turns it over. Willis. He said Moss turn. Aaron pass intercepted by Hawkins. Thomas down low. Reverse goes. Turner with the board. Thorns. Lost it in traffic. Can't go behind your back in trouble. In traffic like that. It's going to be a gold tent and a bucket for Hawkins. Turnover as Thorns tries to get too fancy when between two players. Be safe with the ball. Make the sure play. Tenth TCU turnover. Another shot of the turnover there. You can see it. Active hands. What I say is deflections lead to interceptions. Interceptions. There's another one. Willis with the steal in a bucket. TCU. You see TCU in a 1-3-1 zone now. The place to attack that zone is in the corners. And that side, Hill did. That, that shot is far too fast in this game. Marshall makes a pay. Moss, kick back out. Chase gets the roll. If you could me, that was a wide open three after several passes. That's a good shot. That is too easy. Are starting to play for themselves instead of play for the name on their chest. Hawkins! Kind of trying to wait to the end of the four to straighten his team out, but you know what? It may be lost before you get there. Uh, to your point right there, they lost track of Jassy. The alley-oop in the 1-3-1, nobody's paying attention behind. You see back here, you got to get there defensively. He's slow getting there, and as a result, the lob gets there. No pressure on the basketball, no rotation from the weak side. The passer actually was even able to wind up with that over the head call. Fighting for his player. Moss turns it over. Marshall. Jasper can't put the hammer down. TCU. One horn frog bucket in the last 10 minutes. Fields, second time's a choke. And you know, I've been around Coach Fletcher long enough. He's probably got an answer for TC. Cherna, working on Thomas. Can't get it to fall, but the putback goes. The older guys didn't do the job. Let's see what the younger men can do. And that's part of the reason that Ray and Fields are on the floor. Jasper with the finish. Defensively. 
You've said that a lot tonight about Horn Frogs not being where they were supposed to be. Defend Spin dribble along the baseline, but you see the defense. Number four doesn't get there in time. Fields headed monster in the post for UNLV. Masamba starting tonight, but Lopez giving great minutes off the bench, and Thomas a couple scores as well. Willis finds the stroke from long range. You can see the drive, the diagonal pass. They do a great job looking weak side. And the closeout by Cadet was not fast enough. You gotta get to the shooter in a hurry. And this free play brought to you by America First Credit Union, where members come first. Intercepted, but you couldn't get a grease grape into that seam. Moss with the board. The chase up from long range. Samba, plot doesn't go on the Samba's in the lecture. Out of the baseline, Mike Cypher's a veteran official. He wasn't gonna fall for that. He says, get up, play through it. Turnover, Moss runs out. Because literally you've got those extra defenders there. And he pivoted right into the backcourt. You end up having a sixth and seventh defender with a sideline and baseline. Don't means you have to pick up one someplace else. You have to steal one that you on paper shouldn't get. Thorns. Lopez. Spin moving. Lopez lays it in. Garland Green for three. And that was from TCU. Yeah, those were some teams. And then UNLV basketball hit a lull. Lopez hits that one and blew the knees. Moss lost the handle. Belfield turns him over. Willis on the move with him. He'll get the feed. The bucket and a whistle. For blocking him out and keeping him off the glass. Willis. There's a Belfield turns forward over. Numbers. Layup. He's going to get better as the year goes along as that knee gets stronger. And he had the off the court issues in the fall, which were a distraction for 23 now. Thorns with the step back. He Hawkins. 